Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to George Mack Plays the Classics. It is lucky for us all that Capcom has dumped Micronics for 1943. We played 1942 nearly two game years ago, and here is its sequel. I'm going to tell you right now, this is a better game all around. Has a whole lot changed? No, not really but it's competent now. You shoot with the B button. This is your main attack. Planes come on screen and try to take you out in this vertical scrolling shooter from the top of the screen. Take them out as quickly as possible for your safety. First upgrade you see in 1943 is that one hit doesn't kill you. There's an energy meter that decreases with time, getting hit, and using the special attack with the A button. This hits all enemies on screen and stops the scrolling for a moment. You can also do the loop the loop from 1942 by pressing both the A and B buttons at the same time, but this usually results in the special attack at the end of the loop. I was about to give up without being able to beat level 2 when I realized that if I held the B button, I would get a powerful shot. This made defeating the bosses much easier and I stuck around for another half hour past when I would have quit. Doing this allowed me to try some more of the special weapons. When you shoot a squad of red fighters, they drop a POW symbol. If you shoot it, it changes to a shotgun. If your special weapon is leveled up, you can also get a three-way shot, an auto shot, and more. I didn't power my special weapon up past three. The three-way gun changed my playing. I could hold the B button for rapid fire, then it would automatically power up. The big planes were child's play thanks to this method. Same with the stationary guns on the bosses. I ran into a wall though. You can power up your offense, defense, energy level, special weapons, and special weapon time limit. I'm not sure I did it correctly as I spread the power ups evenly. I think I should have spent more on energy level and special weapons time limit. You can power up during levels by shooting special spots and unlocking special icons. Some icons will give you more energy, but the flower and dragonfly will take you to the upgrade screen. I thought the three-way gun was best for finding these as well. When it comes to grading 1943 on NES, graphics get a 2.0. The graphics aren't great, but at least they aren't monotone. The planes are fine, and the ocean has some detail to it. The sound gets a 1.5. The music isn't great, but at least it has tone and pitch to a point where I don't want to kill everything. Gameplay gets a 2.5. There are power-ups, stats, and special weapons. I can't complain much. Difficulty gets a 3.0. Do you have what it takes to go through 24 levels? Even with continues and passwords, I don't. Fun Factor gets 2.5. I was having enough fun to want to come back and try again. I'll give it that. Overall, 1943, The Battle of Midway, earns a 2.3 and gets a C+. Getting rid of my chronics was the best move Capcom made. 1943 is competent and totally worth a playthrough. Well, that's going to do it for me for today. Please make sure to like this video, let me know what you think of 1943 in the comments, and please subscribe to Head Drop Productions on YouTube because we want you for each and every video we release because it is your destiny.